So today I'm going to do a little experiment on myself. You know that old adage, you are what you eat. Well today I hope to prove that to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat an unhealthy meal, an unhealthy fast food meal, and then I'm going to come back a week later and I'm going to eat a healthier alternative. By eating that unhealthy fast food meal, we'll visually be able to see all the fat that ends up in my blood. So what Nurse Tony's doing here is taking my baseline blood draw. This will be the blood draw that we'll compare all other blood draws to. Did I mention how much I hate needles? So. Well, first one down. Well, here it is. I never eat like this, but anything for science. Cheers. Let's go test my blood. So what I'm going to do now is take the tube of blood that Nurse Tony collected. I'm going to put it in the centrifuge and we're going to spin it. And what that's going to do is settle the red blood cells down at the bottom of the tube. And so then we'll be able to see the serum or the liquid component of the blood. Okay, here's our blood tube. So you can see here on your left is that baseline blood draw we took before I ate the meal. And here, as soon as one and a half hours after I ate that fast food meal, you can see how cloudy that is compared to the baseline sample. Well, here we are, we're back again. I'm taking the baseline blood draw for my healthy meal. So this is more like it. A nice side salad here. We've got chicken breast and some rice and a piece of rye bread. Well, here we are spinning out my blood draw, comparing the healthy meal to the baseline. And as you can see clearly, there's not a whole lot of difference between the baseline and that second blood draw. And then we compare that with last week's sample after eating the fatty meal at the same time point. You can clearly see there's a huge difference between the healthy meal and that fatty fast food meal.